Uh, greetings, friends. In this uh, short little video, what we're going to be talking about is uh, how to compute an effect size. And in the readings for uh, this assignment, you will see referenced a article by Marzano on what is an effect size. And um, hopefully you will have read that already. If not, uh, we're going to reference a few uh, parts of this article. One is the actual demonstration of how to compute the effect size. And then the second part is a little chart down here if you want to get into the weeds a little bit about um, how to convert effect size into percentile gains. And so uh, what you can do with this is uh, determine from it, from the effect size, what kind of a gain you would expect to see if a particular treatment was uh, given to, for instance, if a, group of, a group of students. But for our purposes for this video, what we want to do, rather than getting into the theory of effect size or talking about how it's used, is to actually see how um, you can compute it. Now, I'm going to show you a couple ways to do it. Uh, one way is to um, uh, use a spreadsheet to, uh, to compute the effect sizes. And um, the other way would be to use the website that we've um, just demonstrated on how to do an effect size. So uh, for those of you who are <clears throat> a little bit savvy and using spreadsheets, I'll show you that first. And then we'll show you how you can use the uh, website if you'd like to do it that way instead. Basically, the formula is over here for how to compute an effect size. It's the mean of a group of, a, of the second group minus the mean of the first group. Second group is the group that has been treated with an intervention. and so. We expect those scores to be higher, and which would give us a positive effect size. If they went down, it would give us a negative effect size. You can still do it if these scores are lower. Uh, then to uh, so set up um, for this um, uh, for this calculation, you would type in in the spreadsheet the scores here, then the scores here for group A, and then you would put them together because you will need both those scores together for the standard deviation of both groups. So for those of you who know how to do spreadsheets, uh, you simply type in the formula here. And for all spreadsheets, when you type a formula, you hit the equal sign first. And the equal sign is your way of telling the spreadsheet we're going to do some math. You type in average. And you would then hit the open parentheses sign. And you would click and drag over the entire range of the scores that you would want to include close parentheses, and hit return. Now you can either copy and paste this cell into this cell, and you get the same formula, or you could go ahead and start from scratch. Equals, A-V-E-R-A-G-E, open parentheses. It's that simple. For now, these two scores together, you want the standard deviation for both scores. So you would go equals S. Now, standard deviation is S, T, D, E, V. There's a lot of initials that are a lot of abbreviations that look like that, but you want this one. And then the same thing, open parentheses. Whole group. Now, I went ahead and already formatted this cell for only two decimal points. If you want to format this cell, you would right-click on it. Oops. And format the cells to two decimal places. It makes it a little easier to read. So um, you have the group A, mean, group B, mean, and then the same deviation here. Now I went ahead and already put in the formula here. Actually brought the standard deviation up to this cell here just by hitting the equal sign and referencing this cell. You could just type in that cell if you'd like to have all these all in one place. So you have the mean scores here and the standard deviation here. Here's our formula. Subtract these two means and divide by the standard deviation of both those groups together. So, to do that, you would hit the equal sign. Remember your 
high school math equals this cell minus this cell. Close parentheses because you want that operation to take place first. So divided by sine reference that cell, B19, and that's what you have for an effect size, the difference between these two groups. Okay, if you um, want to rather use the, um, if you'd rather use this website, you can go to the website and if you would use um, the miscellanea tab here, and then basic, simple sample stats. You would just copy this group into here, hit calculate, and you give the mean score of 62.6. You would type in 62.6 here. 62.6. Now you grab group B, reset, calculate. 73.13 is the mean score. 73.13. Now you would need both these groups together. For the standard deviation. Reset. Calculate. And the standard deviation for both those groups is right here. You can copy and paste that or just remember 11.47. <coughs> Excuse me, 11.48 if you want to round it. Okay. And then the same thing here for the formula equals, open parentheses, this minus this, or you can actually type in the numbers if you want, divided by standard deviation, gives the same effect size. So that's, um, <clears throat> in a nutshell, basically two simple ways of um, calculating um, the effect size.